Most of these things you do them without knowing that they mean disrespect to your woman. Most times you do it because you feel, oh, you want to be in charge of your relationship. You don't want your woman to control you. You want her to be dis. You don't want her to be disrespectful. At the long run, she end up being disrespectful because the way you treat her, the way you talk to her, which you don't really know, they're disrespectful. So I'm bringing to you things you should never say or do to your woman because if you do them, they are disrespectful to her. So don't do them. Then I will tell you or teach you what you should do instead of doing them. This is spell solution. Number one, when you frequently resort to yelling, anytime you want to talk to your woman, please be calm, be respectful, tell her what you tell her what you want her to do or you want from her in a polite manner. Now when you talk to a woman in a polite manner, even if she's aggressive, she's angry, she will learn to calm down and listen. But if you always yell at her, especially if your woman is a very calm person, she's a respectful person, at the long run, she start imitating that thing you're doing. She start giving it back. Most times, when they already called your attention to it, they don't like the way you're talking to them, and you keep doing it. So in order not to even get disrespected, you don't even need it. Just tell her straight up what you want and get her to do it. Let there be power in your words. Let there be authority in your words. Any woman is going to respect you just by s talking to her simply, calmly, and respectfully. She's going to respect you for it. Then the second thing that really make you feel, okay, really make a woman feel you're being disrespectful to her, you're disrespecting her when you do it is when you make her feel inferior. When you always want to tell her, oh, you don't see, most times, that is why as a man, you must know, you must like a woman very well, that you want to accept her flaws. Most times when your woman gives birth, she's not really the same person you get married to. So you must have this thing at the back of your mind. And most times when you get your woman that has some of her flaws that you need to accept, just not all the ones you don't you don't like, address it on time. If she can change, she change it. But Everyone is not perfect. Just as you, you will not be a perfect person. So addressing these flaws, when you notice this is part of her, especially when it has nothing, it will not affect you in any way. So you don't use derogatory words that will make her feel less of herself, that will, want to, that will make her feel other women are better than her. Of course, even if you want to address some issues, there are ways you bring it up so she doesn't feel inferior. So you would like use words like, oh, you're not good at this. You didn't see this person on Paris. Never use it. Never make your woman feel less of herself. Because if she feels less of herself, the next thing she will do is she wants you to also feel the same way. Most times they want you to feel what they go through so that you will test that same thing you're giving to them. So if you don't want that, do not do it. You lead. When you are a leader, you lead with example. Let her follow. Then the third thing is you don't pay attention when she talks to you. Most times you want to shove her. You don't want to pay attention. You don't want to listen to what she's saying. You make her feel she's not even talking to you. Now, these things, you can do this when maybe you're angry. She knows this is not part of you. But if it's something you're always doing, you give attention to every other person except your woman. So if you know you can't give attention to your woman, or as in when you she needs you the most, you will not really be there. Or when she wants to talk to you, you're always concentrated on something else. But she see the way you talk to other people, you give attention to them. She will feel she's not important to you. So she will feel disrespected. So... Do not do it. Don't do it to her. Then the fourth and the last one, when you make fun of her inspiration. See, it, that, see, aspirations are things she, that she likes. You might not really like them. Despite the fact that you don't like them, see how you can talk to her, talk to her see how you can encourage her, but do not make fun of it. Hey, is this thing you say you want to do? This thing like this? You start laughing. Most times when your women tell you what they want, even though you don't want it, can you please try to see how you can make them, talk to them calmly, how you can make them see reasons why you don't want it. But even though you don't want it, learn to encourage them in it, especially if it is something that is good. Because it's not every good thing you will accept because it is not everything. Something you don't know, you don't understand, you can't really support. So if you don't understand, you don't support it, 
kindly see how you can help or talk to her. Even if you know those things, you know she's is not going to be good to her. There's always a way to talk about it. There's always a way to bring it up. There's always a way to make her listen. Do not make fun of it. Because if you make fun of it, it's going to hurt her so badly that she will feel disrespected. Especially if she's respecting your own. She's not making fun of it. So these are most of the things we do that really create cracks in our marriages and our relationships. So if you're doing it, please stop. This is Bell Solution. The goal is for you to always stay in a healthy relationship and a healthy marriage. Do well to subscribe to my channel. Follow my page for more videos like this. Do not forget to share. Many men need to say it. Thank you.